today we're opening up a $250 the Grail box Funko Pop mystery box. Everybody knows I love these more expensive mystery boxes. They're a load of fun. They're more expensive, but you can get out some bigger grails sometimes. But before we jump into this box though, you know what we've got to do, right? It's time for an appetizer. So I have here our leftover boxes. I'm actually doing like a filming marathon and I just opened up some other box and I opened up a brand new sealed box of Child's Collectible mystery boxes. And I price point was like 15, 20 bucks a box. I'm not too sure. Have not peeped in these. I have no idea what's in them. We're gonna pull out two more for this video, which leaves one more for the last future video at some point. But yeah, all these are guaranteed to have a pop in them. Um, the first two from this box were both chases. So it's possible this was like a chase mystery box where every one was a chase. Maybe. Since the first two were both chases, it kind of makes me think, because Chalice in the past has sold mystery box that were nothing but chase variation pop. So I bet that's what this one probably was. Here you go. You ready? First one. See, so we got appetizer box. It's the chase. So yeah, this 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 was the chase box after all. Pretty much every one is a guaranteed chase. I think this pop is actually vaulted now. This Wesley pop, I'm pretty sure it is. I actually met um, this actor, drawing a blank on his name now. I actually met him a few years ago at GalaxyCon. Very nice guy. Nice conversation with him. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and look at the PBG value of this first one. I did well with this first one. So PBG value of this first pop, it's going up. It's worth $75 for the chase. I did pretty well. I'm actually going to pull up the Funko app because with, with that kind of price, this one has to be vaulted now. I figured it probably was vaulted. And looking on the Funko app, it, it still says it's available to purchase. So it's not been vaulted yet. But this chase being at 75 bucks, that's pretty high. I'll take it though. I'll take that in a heart. Here we go. Number two appetizer. What we get? <laughs> Georgie with that severed arm. I think he's vaulted too. I, I keep saying that, but I'm wrong every single time. But here's the Georgie. This looks to be in fantastic condition. This is the newest restock from uh, July of 2021. That might be the last restock they ever do this pop too. It's coming in at 30 bucks and it is still available for retailers to purchase. So both of these pretty good value combined like what, $105. And these boxes are probably 15, 20, they might've been 25 bucks a piece. I believe I'm not too sure. I could look them up before the video, but you know, it's not the big of a deal. They're appetizer boxes, right? They're not the main course, but here we go. $250, the Grail box mystery box. So little details about this. This shipped on, there's no date on, on, on it, but through email it says it shipped February 24th, 2022. So it's not like a super old box, but this is called was a $250 Funko High Roller Mystery Box. It says, for the collectors looking to add expensive pieces and multiple grails to their collection. This is our Funko High Roller Mystery Box. This is our last Funko drop of the week from like back in February. Limited to 10 total boxes. I'm not too sure which box this is. I'm sure I chose the number. It says guaranteed value between 270 and 520. So it's guaranteed over what I paid. And at least one box is going to be over double value. One to six pops per box. Decent way to, I'm guessing there's six pops in here. It says look out for grails, vaulted pops, and exclusives. All PBG values were taken February 24th, 2022. You ready to do this? Let's see what we got. The Grail box, $250 mystery box. Here we go. You excited? I'm... There's a scarf in here. That's a little different. We have a scarf. Guardians of the Galaxy, we've got Groot. A scarf. Huh. Looks like some boxes got little throw-in freebies. It's kind of nice of them. Guardians of the Galaxy, Groot. Scarf. Okay. I'll take freebies. 
Let's see, let me feel around. Hopefully there's a hard stack. Come on, hard stack. Ah, no hard stack. One, two, three, four. There are six total pops and two protectors. Three, looks like there's three in soft protectors, three no protectors, okay? So let me, there, you can't see it now, right? So let me pull out the ones without protectors first. You ready? First one. The back says Star Wars. We've got Vice Admiral Holdo. Vice Admiral Holdo. It's a 2017 pop already. That's an old pop. Five years old. Time goes quick. Let's see, pop number two, no pop protector. We've got Neen Num. I probably butchered that name more than likely. GameStop exclusive. This is the older sticker. This is from 2015. There's a seven-year-old pop right there. That's pretty cool. Fantastic condition too for an older pop. There's no damage on it. Seven years old and it's pretty minty. Is this a Star Wars theme box? First two are Star Wars. Let me find the one without the pop protector to do next. Okay, this one has no pop protector. We have an Ahsoka pop. Looks like we do have a Star Wars theme box going on. Ahsoka. This is the 2018 Ahsoka, not the most recent restock. Either. That's the original Ahsoka mold that they did. And once again, it's, it's it has one small crease right there. But it's still 8.5 out of 10 condition. That's pretty high, high shape for four year old pops so we got i think right now we got four years old five years old and seven years old there we go first pop that is in a soft protector i don't know which is going to be the big hit hopefully it's not this one hopefully the last one's gonna be the big hit this one says plo coon so we do have a star wars theme box going on this one is also from 2016 and another six year old pop let me see condition on this one I'm probably butchering half of these names. That's to be expected. And wow. They bought out a collection that was full of really minty older pops. This is a really, really cheap 0.35, really cheapy protector. I'll make sure to upgrade this to a 7 bucks pop pop shield pop protector. My favorite protector that I use on my pops. There'll be a drilling down below to 7 bucks if you want to get yourself their pop shield pop protectors that I personally use. Here we go, next one. This is also a really cheapy 0.35 protector. Imperial Death Trooper. Star Wars a Smuggler's Bounty. Let's see condition. I don't think either one of these and protectors have any crazy value. But this box was 250 bucks. So something here has got to be some higher value. Maybe the last pop is going to actually be the high value one. That's actually pretty minty for a 2016 six-year-old pop again right there so here we go there's the first five pops everything very very good condition i think the what the newest pop is like four years old so this last one has got to be some pretty decent value because these five right here cannot be 200 i bet here we go last one pot number six the, <laughs> a game of thrones that's you had Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Game of Thrones. Okay. This is the Melisandre Game of Thrones 2016. They got away from the Star Wars vibe. I don't think there's anything like really big in this box. Nothing like really stood out. There's probably a few worth like 40 and 50 bucks, I bet. But let's see PBG value. Let's see how much I got back. First pop, Vice Admiral Holdo. This one's coming in at PPG value, $10. Pot number two, which is the Neen Num. I probably butchered that name. Coming in at $11. Third one, we got the Ahsoka. This is the original 2018 release. Ahsoka is coming in at $16. So those first three pops are only $37. This was guaranteed, what was it, $270? So these last three pops have to be... $230? Is there $230 there in those three pops? I guess. Next, we got the Imperial Death Trooper Smuggler's Bounty Exclusive coming in at $19. There's $56. These last two pops, there's no way they're worth over $200. There's nothing to... I wonder if... 
I don't know. Let's find out the value. And Plo Koon is worth $38. It's a Walgreens exclusive. It's missing a sticker. We'll go ahead and give it the full PPG value. $38. Bucks. 94 Okay, this last one is not worth $180. And Melisandre is worth $20. Bucks. That gives a total of $114. Let me go back and read it, make sure it what it's guaranteed 270 to 520. This one had a $114 value. This box, okay, today is what's today's date? March 13th. This was shipped on February like 22nd. So I've had this thing for like what two and a half weeks. And prices would not have gone from 270 down to 114 in two and a half weeks. So, yeah, I think there was a mistake here. It's missing a lot of money in this box because this this throwing scarf wasn't like a part of the value. But uh, yeah, Grail Box never has, has done this before, so I have to reach out to him and say, hey, what's <laughs> what's going on here? Because I think I think there was a mess up here. But anyway, I'll reach out to him, see what happens. Small update to this video. So I reached out to the Grail Box about this situation and it's just an honest mix up. They accidentally put, I bought several boxes and they accidentally put one of the shipping labels that was meant for my $100 box onto this more expensive box. So then my more expensive box has the label for the $100 box on it. So it was just mixing up of shipping labels so it was just an honest mistake. They even offered to refund my money. And I told them, I said, no, no, don't worry about it. It's just a shipping label mix up. Everything is going to work out. We're all even. We're all square. So I just want to give a two big thumbs up to the Grail Box for fantastic customer service. Everything was dealt with within a matter of hours. And I give them two huge thumbs up for the customer service. So everything worked out. Everything is square. Just an honest mistake that honestly is not a big deal. See you next time.